Hi there everyone and welcome once again to the Train Aid HQ. My name is Nick and in today's video we are looking at the Level 3 Award in Education and Training and we are just going to be looking at the different qualification outcomes or careers that you can consider once achieving your Level 3 course. As we know, in terms of the assessment of this course, there are three written assignments. The suggested word count is 2,000 words for each assignment. You also have to complete a 15 minute micro teach. Uh, the topic, of course, is that of your very own choice. We also have three different formats of the course, which are classroom, uh, online, and also the webinar format as well. So please visit our website to find out more information um, about the course. In today's video, we are going to be focusing on some of the most common uh, career paths uh, many of our learners take once achieving the qualification. So we're going to give you some practical advice on how to further yourself with these different careers. So just behind me, we have the most common uh, career paths and outcomes, such as a first aid trainer, um, a health, uh, beauty, academy, uh, teacher. We also have a hairdressing uh, teacher as well, and perhaps setting up your very own hairdressing or barbering academy. We also have a freelance trainer, a college or a post 16 teacher as well. And finally, a training manager delivering in-house courses as well. So we're going to have a chat just about each of the different uh, outcomes. The first is one of the most popular ones is how to become uh, a first aid trainer. So my advice is of course to gain the level three award in education and training and also to facilitate that by gaining the level three first aid at work qualification. So this is the three day course. Of course, Train Aid does offer that course as well. But also it's my advice is to gain the, the paediatric 12 hour course to further your knowledge with paediatric first aid. And also you could consider the mental health uh, first aid qualification to add more uh, course routes that you can offer as a freelance first aid trainer. Our next step would be to become a registered trainer or to set up your own training company as well. So perhaps think about a logo, think about uh, perhaps a name for your, your company as well. And we also advise that you join uh, an awarding body for first aid, such as the FAIB, so the first aid industry body. So the advantage of joining uh, the FAIB, for example, or any uh, first aid awarding body, is that you can issue accredited course certificates, okay, like this one here, as we can see, we have the Train Aid logo, we have the FAIB logo there, and of course, you can have your, your company name as well. So you can issue uh, accredited course certificates, okay, as a freelance first aid trainer, or of course, setting up your very own first aid company as well. OK, um, so there is, of course, a membership fee with joining uh, a first aid uh, awarding body as well, just to be aware of that. Uh, but furthermore, my advice is uh, in terms of equipment, you could order that through uh, Qualsafe, OK, or uh, Laderal, OK, as well. So have a look at those websites if you're thinking of very much starting up your very own uh, first aid company there. So hopefully that advice is going to really help for uh, for you to take on board. So that is stemming from the, the level three award in education and training. So we're just moving on to uh, health uh, beauty. Okay, so if you're looking at becoming perhaps uh, a teacher within uh, the health and beauty sector or very much starting your very own academy. Okay, the very first step, as we know, is to achieve the level three award in education and training. We would, of course, recommend that you have uh, qualifications in uh, health and beauty and very much what you are looking to teach. Okay, so this could be eyelash and eyebrow uh, tinting, waxing, nail treatment, massage, and for example, client consultation. So you should have those qualifications that you're looking to, to teach within uh, health and beauty. Furthermore, we advise that you make contact with uh, a training centre, okay? So uh, an awarding body, for example, could be BABTAC, it could be the Beauty Guild and VTCT as well. So have a look on those websites. You could link with them, 
okay, and become a, a registered training centre as well. So once again, there is going to be an annual membership fee uh, affiliated with uh, those awarding bodies as well. But the main benefit, of course, is that you can teach uh, those qualifications within your own uh, health and beauty uh, academy. Furthermore, you can, of course, issue accredited course certificates, uh, progression uh, points. We would say that perhaps have a look at the Carver qualification, which is a level three certificate in assessing vocational achievement to become uh, a qualified assessor as well. And furthermore, if you would like to take that level further, then do look at the IQA qualification. But the main point, of course, is the level three award in education and training. You have your health and uh, beauty qualifications. And please do make contact with uh, an awarding body to link with them and to take your, uh, your organisation further as well. Another uh, key career path is hairdressing uh, teacher or to, to set up your very own hairdressing or of course barbering academy as well. So once again, you start with a level three award in education and training and also to make sure that you do have your level two, uh, your level three in hairdressing or barbering as well. So you can offer those courses within your uh, within your uh, barbering and also hairdressing academy as well. Okay, I would also recommend have a look at TQ UK's website as well. They do offer uh, these qualifications if you don't have those already. We'd also recommend that you join um, an awarding body such as Babtac, uh, Beauty Guild and also VTCT uh, again, okay, to become an accredited training centre. So the benefit of that is not only you can teach your courses, but you can also issue uh, accredited courses on behalf of the awarding body as well. Okay, so furthermore, once again, uh, progression points would be to do the level three Carver qualification and also the level four IQA qualification as well, if required. Furthermore, we're looking at a very popular option now, which is to become a freelance trainer. So once you've gained your level three award in education and training, then you can teach any course, any qualification that you have yourself, okay? So many of our freelance trainers for TrainAid, they do uh, have their, their own training company under their name, their logo, of course. And also, they can work for a variety of different training providers and offer different courses. They often fill up their training calendar as well by teaching a variety of courses nationwide. With a level three award in education and training, of course, you can teach face to face courses. You can visit companies and deliver day training, for example, but you can also teach online courses. So very popular in this current time to teach courses over Zoom, Microsoft Teams as well. So you might have qualifications within fitness, manual handling, first aid, for example, leadership and management, health and social care. So, of course, you would be able to teach those courses and qualifications uh, if you are qualified within those certain areas. So once again, my advice to you is to join uh, a number of training providers. Of course, they can contact you if they have courses available and also uh, to register with an awarding body as well. So to get your name out there as a freelance trainer as well, that, that's very important. Furthermore, progression points, of course, is to do the, the Carver qualification. So that is where you can issue uh, qualifications and also a, an IQA qualification as well. So you can uh, monitor assessors. You can also uh, do some freelance IQA work as well. So you could obviously check the work of assessors and provide them with feedback as well. So do have a look at becoming uh, a freelance trainer there. Uh, another route stemming from the Level 3 Award in Education and Training, of course, is to be a teacher uh, within the post-16 sector as well. So you can teach within the post-16 sector, uh, colleges and also adult education centres as well. 
Furthermore, progression could be uh, to go towards a level four certificate in education and training, and also the level five diploma in education and training, and of course, to achieve QTLS as well. The level three is a fantastic starting point to get your foot uh, through the door and to secure a position uh, within uh, a teaching establishment like so. Of course, you can teach these short courses, but I would recommend if you're looking perhaps to become a full-time teacher, teacher is to develop your teaching skills and either embark on a level four and level five qualifications once you have achieved uh, and secured a teaching role. My advice is do have a look at the following websites, TES Jobs, Read Education, uh, education.gov.uk, Prospe uh, Prospectus, and also have a look at local supply and cover agencies as well to secure uh, teaching hours and to work within schools and colleges as well. But you can do that with the level three qualification. If you are working within a large company, uh, you can of course uh, deliver in-house courses. So with the level three award in education and training, you can become a, a training manager. So you can uh, develop your, your workforce and colleagues. You could create your own courses, training packages, and you can issue uh, certificates of attendance as well that your employees have attended as well. So there's a benefit there. So any CPD, any inset days, um, if your, your colleagues need to be trained perhaps in new systems, then you can take the lead and you can obviously deliver that as well. Furthermore, uh, progression points here would be the, the level three CARBA, so the uh, assessing qualification, if you wanted to issue accredited course certificates and also the level four uh, teaching qualification as well to, to really uh, solidify your skills as a recognized teacher. Thank you very much for watching our video today on the different outcomes of the, the Level 3 Award in Education and Training. If you would like to, to give us a call or drop us an email to, to really discuss your different uh, career path, your, your plans, uh, please do so. We'd like to find out from you uh, just about your questions and we can give you the best advice possible going forward. Thank you very much uh, for watching the video. Uh, do like and subscribe to the YouTube channel to find out the latest news uh, from the Train A team. Thank you very much.